All right. So with the whole entire conversation being about Cornell West running as a green party, third party is going to spoil for Joe Biden or, or whoever the Democratic nominee is going to be, which I mean, is going to be Joe Biden. And uh, whatever the scenario is, Cornell West is going to take votes from the Democratic Party, which is going to allow Donald Trump or DeSantis or who whatever clown is on the right side to win. And my response, my quick response, go ahead and watch my last video. I kind of go into more detail about it. But my response is, so be it. Like, I'm already at the point. I could not care any less because I know the Democratic Party is going to continue to half ass things they're going to uh, uh not keep you know 60 percent of their their promises they're not going to grow a spine out of nowhere they're not going to fight for the common people we know this and for them to tell voters well you don't want a donald trump right oh you don't want a DeSantis, right like that's not going to work with me you're not going to fear me into voting for you if 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 we going if we're going to suffer the consequences of another Trump presidency, guess what? We're just going to have to suffer together. That's the at, that's the point I'm at at the moment. Now, of course, my opinion could change a couple months from now. I'm human, you know what I'm saying. But as of right now, that's how I feel. And um, God bless uh, Kyle Kalinsky. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. I've been watching him for years now. You know what I'm saying? And and for the most part, I respect and I, you know, would agree with him 99% of the time. But his take on Cornell West, um, not really versus Bernie, but it's, you know, uh, Cornell West kind of brought up Bernie in a sense of he's not cutthroat when it comes to essentially pointing out and going after the Democratic Party. And for the most part, he agreed to it, you know, and, and I agree too. But then his, his take on Cornell West, he just, just kind of just blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and watch this, uh, you know, the short clip and let's have that conversation. But my criticism of Cornell West is you are by definition, not going for the jugular. If you're running as a third party candidate, look, I want to be kind to you and I love Cornell West. And I got nothing against the Green Party. I voted for many Green Party candidates, but keep it real. It is by definition not going for the jugular if you have zero prayer of winning. Sorry. Uh, it's just a fact. Okay, so once again, I hate when people say it's just a fact. And it's obviously just an opinion when when it, when we're trying to discuss, quote unquote, uh, going for the jugular. Uh, uh, that is very opinionated because my opinion is if someone wants to be cutthroat and go for the jugular you can't do that as a democrat it's it's like uh tim scott you know what i'm saying as as kind as he may seem and and loving and and you know his platitudes and and the, and what he says about the the black community it sounds good but how are you going to fight against racism and 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 you know um um policing and and gun reform and your own party that you represent is thoroughly against that you can't say i'm against racism and people in your own party don't even think racism exists or ever existed you know depending on who you're talking to so it's weird like you think cornell west can effectively uh, uh, tear down and be as cutthroat as you want him to be with the Democratic Party while being a Democrat. Because I'm just going to have the same questions. Wait, how are you going to be so against the uh, the the uh, Democratic um, elite if you're running to be in that same party? Like, it, it just doesn't add up. You can't square that circle. You know what I'm saying? So I think by definition, Cornel West has the opportunity to be as cutthroat as he wants being third party because he doesn't now he now there's no strings attached. 
There's no, oh man, I got to, oh man, I got, okay, this person, like, no, he can go against whoever, whenever, however. Now, the point with Cornell uh, winning as third party, hey, I've seen crazier things happen. You know what I'm saying? So to say that it can't is just like the person saying, hey, Trump doesn't have a, a chance of winning um, when Trump first ran. There's plenty of people, uh, d uh, Democrats, Republicans, anybody in between. Oh, Trump is not going to win. He can't win. He's the biggest clown ever. And guess what happened? So you can't tell me something can't happen. And we have seen crazier things. Let's just get that out the way. <clears throat> Second off. Somebody has to be every American knows it is past due that we have a third party and possibly even more parties that represent America in a better way. We need one person to not be scared. Who who's going to take that first step and it could be a good first step. We don't know. We got to look, you know, a year from now, uh from now. But just because Cornel West is the first one, you know, who who has uh, uh some legs you know, who has some stake in the game to, to uh, uh, jump in this arena. We have to support him. The only way that he will not win is if we don't support him. Now, of course, there's some other, you know, things that might have to, 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 to move in the background. But for the most part, it's the voters. It's going to fall on me and you. If, if he can't get the voters, nothing else matters then yeah, he definitely doesn't have a shot of winning. So most of it, I mean, would rely on us. You can say all you want. Okay, you know, Cornell's is a nice guy, but like, if you're not gonna vote for third party, but yet still complain, oh, we need more diversity when it comes to, you know, uh, um, just his left and his right uh, uh, conversation. But yet, if there's someone who actually runs as a third party, um, you know, it's pretty decent. You know, I'm not saying Cornell West is 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 the most well rounded uh candidate, but I would vote for him, obviously. So it's like, you know, we 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 gotta kind of be a little fair here. I'm gonna give Mr. Uh Kalinsky uh, uh uh a reason to or not a reason, but to explain what he's gonna say. I kind of just went on our own rant there, but <laughs> so if they were to put all of their efforts and an emphasis on, well, first we're going to get rid of first-past-the-post voting, we're going to get ranked choice voting, if they leaned into that and they could get that at a national level, at a federal level, then again, all of a sudden, I become the biggest Green Party simp on the planet, and I become the biggest Cornell Westboro on the planet. But unless and until you get that, you're putting the cart before the horse, and really, you know, best-case scenario for the run, it's like you're trying to get 5%, which will get you matching funds, which will make it so the Green Party is taken marginally more seriously and is funded marginally more, right? So it's hard for me to... And to 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 his point, um, this is three days ago. If if I'm not mistaken, I did hear Cornel West uh, in an interview. I mean, Cornel West has been doing millions of interviews like a day, it seems like. Um, he did talk about that. He said that they're actually in the process of uh, trying to make that happen. So... I would have to re re listen to it. I just heard it today. It's like a two hour long interview. So I got to go back. Um, but I think he does state that. So uh, listen to somebody who's running as a third party candidate, say, I'm going to go for the jugular. No, if you were really going for the jugular, you would have been the first lefty in the presidential race and you would have been in the primary as a Democrat. Because that's where you're going to make the most noise. <clears throat> that's where you're going to get the most eyeballs. That's where you at least have a prayer of debating Joe Biden. I mean, it's like pulling teeth trying to get him to debate RFK and Marianne Williamson, but there's literally no hope of him debating a third party candidate, right? Once again, I, I, I don't understand that no hope thing. Like, it's slow down. I know you excited, but just slow down a little bit. We can't say there's no hope because once again, we've seen crazier things. And once again, if Joe Biden doesn't want to um, uh, debate Marianne and the, the other weirdo, like... Cornell West is not going to make a difference. And once again, if Cornell wants to go for the jugular or or 
go against the established Democrat. He can't be a Democrat while doing that because people are going to see the hypocrisy in that. Or at least I will. Once again, same with Republicans trying to fight racism in their Republican. It's like, bro, you're you're already starting off in at, at like in the wrong territory. You know what I'm saying? So So that's why I call it, with all love and respect, it's self disenfranchisement. It wouldn't be that if you got rid of first past the post voting and got us ranked choice voting. It wouldn't be that. But as it is right now, there's no prayer of winning. It would be a phenomenal run if you got 5%. And I don't think we have the luxury of waiting 30, 40 years for a political project to blossom from scratch. And what we should do is use the infrastructure that's already there that gives us an advantage and try to win that way, where you actually have a chance. You actually have a prayer of winning. You know, look, I voted for Jill Stein in previous elections, right? Jill Stein got, what, 3% of the vote? <clears throat> and I knew going into it, I'm voting for somebody who's got, like, no prayer in hell. So you think Jill Stein is way, is a better communicator, uh, um, more name recognition than Cornell West? I don't know. That that just seems a little weird to me. Like, uh, uh. Bernie Sanders got, like, 45% of the vote running in a Democratic primary. 45 is way more than three, last time I checked. Way, way closer to winning. Way, way closer to actually making change. And by the way, yes, Bernie's presence did, in many ways, force Biden to be more progressive than he otherwise would have been. Biden has been a much more... And that, and that same Democratic Party uh, snuffed Bernie from winning. His own party that he decided to run as played him. So once again, like... Just because if, if Cornell West was to run as a Democrat, like it would just change for him. Because honestly, I think Bernie was a little bit more solid and had a little bit more name recognition than Cornell West. And they still did Bernie wrong. Knowing people knew what was up. Knowing how Hillary and, 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 and the DNC played Bernie. So you don't think they'll, they, they wouldn't even think twice to play Cornell West. So it's like, it's, it's no magic that's involved if you're all of a sudden running for a Democrat. You're still going against the establishment. At least as a third party, you the, the, the gloves can come off. You don't need to look over your uh, shoulder for anyone. You can just say what you want, how you want, and just lay it out there. But it feels like you can't do that if you're running in that party, I mean, I don't know if I can make that any more clear. president <laughs> than he was a senator. He was a way more conservative senator than he's been a president. These are all facts. So, well, Wes, I love you, man, but it's not going for the jugular if you're running through. It's just not. It's just not going for the jugular. Um, but look, <laughs> the ship has sailed. And what I will say is this. Anybody who feels like I can't stomach a vote for... Um, Joe Biden in a safe state, well, you know, you do have a good option now. You do have a good option now. But I, I also fear the, the whole spoiler effect thing. Now, I don't, I don't buy into that notion myself. I think it's kind of a okay. bogus notion. But a lot of people just have this perception that it's real, regardless of the evidence, and that will prevent them from ever voting for a third-party candidate. And that's why I keep saying you have to get rid of first-past-the-post voting. You have to do ranked-choice voting to be taken more seriously. And uh, I hope they do that. I hope they can do that. I hope they can achieve that because then a lot more people would be open to this idea of a third party effort. But there you have it. And, and to be honest, and, and we can we can go ahead and switch full screen here. Um, even if they was to get rid of that, I, I think you would have to still work on the understanding that people have when it comes to uh, voting outside of their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but once again, I, I respect Cornell enough because I followed his journey, at least for the past, like eight years, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, he, he's been doing this longer than I've been alive. So it's like, you have to have, and, and, and I'm not saying Mr. Kyle doesn't have this respect for Cornell because I believe he's just asking a genuine question, you know, just has genuine concerns, which which is fine. Um, 
is Cornell the best politician when it comes to so far what he's presented? No, I wish on his website, it'd be a little bit more pimp tight. I wish he kind of have somebody take control and kind of organize that better. I wish he would have just some policies on there. Like, hey, I, I it doesn't have to be a chapter uh, a long. Just tell me what policies you support. Um, I really don't want him to spend too much time on cultural fights because to me that's kind of a waste of time but just you know pinpointing just real quick boom boom this is what i believe this is what how i feel about the subject and and just be a little bit more precise and clear on that um and just kind of uh, uh push the envelope when it comes to um uh debating and, and just some of the things that we have to look forward to uh within the next you know six months you know what i'm saying but i mean we we honestly have to see once again i've seen crazier things happen i i never want to be that person to say this will never happen you know this can't happen knowing what i've seen the past 10 years you know what i'm saying so but once again um i love mr mr kyle kalinsky you know i i, I don't want this to be like some sort of attack but you know it's it's you know it 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 brings up a good conversation and I'm glad that we're having it because if it wasn't for someone like Cornell West, we would still be having the same argument on uh, voting for the lesser evil. And I am so tired of basing my vote on the lesser evil. Like let's have some new faces. Let's have some, some new places to, to place our vote. And it, it, it may not, be nothing from it but i think this is a good starting point a good foundation to where the next person who has the spine in the in the levels to run as a third party can build upon cornell west's mistakes and 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 successes and build from that but it, it has to start with somebody damn it that's all i'm saying it has to start with somebody it's not gonna be perfect but it has to start somewhere so once again, if you think I'm wrong, if you think Cornell West doesn't have a prayer in the world, even Jesus Christ himself couldn't save him from this third party uh, uh, thing we got going on here. Let me know in the comments. And like always, let's have that conversation.